Hey, are you wanting to copy PS3 game files onto your hard drive, or you may be thinking about emulating other consoles on your PlayStation 3? Well, to do that, you'll need an application called Multiman, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. So with that being said, let's get right into it. First things first, you'll have to head over to Brewology.com and download the package file for Multiman. You can find it as the first link in the description. Once you're there, click Multiman version 4.91, then scroll down until you see the download options. Then click download for the option Multiman Base and move your file to your desktop for easy access. Next, insert your USB drive and format it to FAT32, or if your thumb drive is over 32 gigs, you can use a program called Rufus and format it to large FAT32. You can find Rufus as the second link in the description. If you used Rufus, once you open up your USB drive, you're completely fine to just delete those files Rufus created. Once formatted, take your package file for Multiman and move it to the root of your USB drive. Once everything is done, close out and remove the USB drive from your computer, and then insert it into the rightmost USB port on your PS3. Now from your PS3's home screen, under Game, select Package Manager. From there, select Install Package Files, and then Standard. Once you see the Multiman package file, select it with X to start the install process. Once Multiman's downloaded, head over to it and select it with X. Once you're in, there's a few settings we need to configure first to make Multiman run a little better. Head over to Settings and scroll down to FTP Service. Make sure it's enabled. Next, disable XMB Sparks. Then disable Theme Audio. Now disable Inactivity Timeout. And finally, disable both screensaver and system auto off. Once you've done all that, you're ready to start setting up emulators and copying games to your PS3. Check the description of the video for tutorials on game copying and emulation with the PS3. Well, I hope this tutorial was useful for you. If it was, I ask that you please consider subscribing because it will help out the channel greatly. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to send me an email or leave a comment down below and I'll get back to either one as soon as I possibly can. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.